Hello. Hello YouTube. Hello. I've not done one of those in a while. Um, not done much in a while. Uh, it's been two weeks since my last video. I put it down to um, a, a post football malaise. <laughs> I had intended to do another video, you know, in the meantime, but um, it's been lazy. And uh, yeah, I've got. I mean, I have. I, and this is a pickups video, as the the title will say. Uh, I'm not in. I've been doing a lot of those recently. Um, I, I don't like to do all pickups videos, but like I say, I'm quite lazy, and the pickups videos, especially for me, are when I'm <laughs> they're easy, and they're, they're for when I'm feeling lazy. Um, but I, like I said, I've not done a video in, in two weeks, and I wanted to get a video out. I wanted to do a video before I shave. You know, because this is going to go. This won't be here tomorrow. Although I might keep it. Because you know, all the, all the cool kids have beards, don't they? All, all I need, all I need is a pair of NHS glasses with the lenses popped out, and you know, that would be, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. Um, never intended to buy a lot of stuff. I'll put it down to maybe my post, like I said, this uh, before mentioned post football malaise. Um, I was hoping I would, I would have got that out of the way pretty quickly. I had it in my head before the tournament that at the inevitable point when England go out sort of disappointingly, um, that I was I had a few games in mind that were a little bit too expensive. I don't want to pay. I don't really want to. I did want to buy, but they're they're expensive. And I was going to wait until I had the extra motivation of the sort of the post football depression. Sorry. Um, to go and buy them, but when the time came, um, I obviously didn't care that much because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't carry through with my, uh, my, um, my intentions. I might still do. I sp maybe, maybe if they'd got through to the final and and uh, lost miserably like Italy did, maybe, maybe I might have done then. But as it is, it sort of it's manifested itself in a different way. Um, I've, 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 I've got a lot to say. I've got to say, so hence that's why I've written it all down, so I might keep looking down. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a long video. It should be a long video. I'll try not to make it a long video, but the amount of stuff I've got, and bear in mind this is only two weeks worth of stuff. Um, I've been gone pretty mental, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, there's a, a couple of little batches here which, which are, you know, which are sort of relevant to the point I'm trying to make, but doing really poorly at. Um, uh, I've got a, a few sort of sides I'm going to talk about, but as I said, it's going to be a long video, so I won't. Um, no, I won't even bother explaining. <laughs> well, all right, I've got a mixture of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff. It's been pretty barren. Um, I, I, know, I know maybe that might not have shown itself in my last video, because I had some decent stuff in my last video. Yeah, but it's felt barren. I've been going here and there, and not having much luck in certain places. And um, I just, I had a, I bought a few things, not enough for a pickups video. And I just sort of went on two sort of vague outings, never really intending to go and buy any. And it's always the way when you don't intend to buy something, that's when it all comes to you. And um, it happens in every way, you know. Uh, the best. The best nights out I've ever had are when I've not intended to go out. It's that, that Mickey Flanagan joke, you know, I'm not out out. <laughs> it's his out out joke if anybody knows it. You know, the, the best nights out I've ever had are ones where I've never intended to, but then things just go on from there. And it's the same with the games. Never intended to buy a lot, but um, it's just got a bit mental. But uh, I had two particularly fruitful outings, which I'll get to, but as it is, I'm going to crack straight onto the to the pickup. So actually, I've got one one singular eBay purchase, but I'll leave that right to the end because I've got a bit of beef about that. I've got a bit of beef. But anyway, on to the actual stuff I bought in person. Um, I went to I went to see my old nan, and as is as is usually the case when I go to my old nan, um, she's always has doctor's appointments and stuff. So. Um, there's always a bit of time to kill because I'm not going to go and sit in the doctors with her. So, um, 
So I'll go around the, I'll go around the Tunbridge Wells because she lives in Tunbridge Wells in Kent, and um, they've got shit loads of charity shops, loads of charity shops. Um, they've got a CX and a game, and two little windy shops. One of them's a lot better than the other one, and it's this one. It's called Cosmic Cartwheels. It's called. It's, it sells old video games. I've talked about it before. I got what did I get? Um, Robo Alest, which I've still got by the way. Can't do anything with it, but I've still got it. Um, and uh, that's what, yeah, I got it in that Cosmic Cartwheels place. And I went in there on the off chance and uh, looked around, didn't really see anything, but they've got a little cabinet where they always keep their um, their better games. I looked down and uh, they had this, so I asked them how much it was. And said, oh, 10 quid. I'll get it out because, you know, it'll make more sense. It's um, Children of the Atom, X X Men, and he said XCOM. X-Men Children of the Atom, which people who've been following my videos for a while will know I've already got. I got a copy in a charity shop, but it didn't have a manual, and hence I've always been on the lookout for another copy. I was never going to intend to pay a lot for it. And when he, when he said this was 10 quid, I, I initially um, thought, well, no, I'm not going to pay 10 quid. But then I, I left the shop, but then sort of almost like did a U-turn and came straight back like an idiot. And, uh, said, no, I've changed my mind, sorry about this mate, sorry for messing you around, I've changed my mind. Because my, my reasoning was that I've got my old copy without the manual and um, I can use that to pay for this. So essentially I'm, I'm back to square one. Because, um, I mean, I won't, I won't sort of, like, I'll just have to sell it on eBay, essentially, just to pay for this one. And, um, sorry, I've been distracted. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I, that's what I intend to do because the other one's not as good good nick as this. This is really good nick. Um, it's it's just got a good case and it's got a good manual and it's got a good disc. Whereas the other one's a bit rough. The disc's a bit manky. It hasn't got a manual and the, the inlay's got a tear in it. But I should be able to get my money back. You know, I might sell it on straight for ten quid. I should be able to get my money back even in. It's not really bad condition, but it, it's not as good as this one. So that's my reasoning. So, as I said, this is a duplicate and the other one is going to have to be sold on. Um, uh, my, you might, if you saw my last video, um, I went into cash converters near me in Edmonton, rough old Edmonton, and um, they had a whole batch of PS1 games and I went a bit mental on their PS1 games. And um, after that, because I'd done so well in this, in this branch of um, cash converters, I painted this picture in my head of how that they'd got a whole load of really good stuff out the back, out the back, and uh, they'd just not gone out on the shelves yet. So I've <laughs> I think uh, I've been trying to go back as much as possible, and um, and the first time I went back, there was uh, the 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 uh, the, pet, the the picture I painted in my head didn't really come to fruition. It was uh, there was there was different stuff, but um, you could tell that the shelves had been picked over. Actually, I did see one bloke in there that I'd seen the time before. So he obviously goes in as much as I do, if not more. <laughs> so I've seen him there more than once, so he, he probably goes in and goes out all the time. But um, now these couple of games I sort of bought out of almost, not, not totally, but probably more out of disappointment that they didn't have multiple copies of Mega Man, you know, Mega Man X, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, because I also had Mega Man Legends from last time. And um, the first game is interestingly quite scarce. And I had been looking up its predecessor on eBay. This won't be for everyone. <laughs> it's called, it's called you know, it's Allied General. Allied General for 99p. This is the sequel to Panzer General. And this is about as, as dry and hardcore as you, it's it, just proper hardcore strategy. I couldn't even be certain it's my sort of game. Looking at it, it looks like a it looks like um, uh, a Mega Drive game, just a really dry, <laughs> bone dry Mega Drive game. But these, this is surprisingly scarce. The um, its predecessor, Panzer General, seems to be quite collectible. You know, I mean, not massively, but there was a a copy that went for. I was just keeping an eye out, went for 12 quid. Uh, that, that seems to be high, but 
I, I was aware of this. Um, it, it, it looks like it needs a mouse support, but I don't think it does, so it's going to be a bit of a... I've looked in the manual, the manual's thick, as you'd expect, and it's just... Um, the back sounds interesting. You can use new, new, new troop types, such as Finnish ski troops. <laughs> no, it's basically like a double, double World War II um, sort of bone, like not bare bones, but strategy title. You know, like as it's an Allied general, where you can take part in historical campaigns in these. <laughs> if it's not my sort of thing, it, it should sell well enough to get my money back. And another one, um, Need for Speed Two. Again, this is this is one sort of almost bought out of a disappointment. They didn't have loads of Mega Men's, Mega Men's, Mans. Uh, I'm not the massive massive racing um, racing game fan, but I think I'm not, especially not in this current gen. But the sort of the earlier Need for Speed games, I think they're probably slightly purer and less corrupted with this sort of horrible like rock, sort of um, rock music that you seem to get in every other every other racing game, especially Colin McRae's. Well, they're not called they're called dirt now, aren't they? Um, but I seem to remember these these got really good reviews. I, I didn't really um, ever keep an eye on um, the reviews of racing games, but I seem to remember those were those were vaguely well um, received. Um, I see I'm already over eleven minutes. I'm, I'm going to speed up a bit here. Um, not in the same branch as cash converters, but the same day. I see I visited two branches in one day. <laughs> uh, Again, this this is this is before my my little burst. Um, a game I have had, I have wanted to get. It's um, a Togi Myth of Demons, and it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be really good. I, I remember watching videos of this um, when I when I, uh, the uh, my Xbox was my one and only console. Um, it looks like a sort of Devil May Cry, God of War. You know, very colourful, very fast paced. Hack and slash. It says fast-paced 3D action with deep RPG elements, which I don't really believe. But I've not tried it yet, and it's all there. It's all there. Yeah, we're not. Why do I do that? Some Xbox Xbox games have just grey top grey discs. I don't even bother make, putting colour on the disc, which is a bit, you know. Anyway, um, and. Um, a couple of days later, after those, um, just another off chance. Of, this is this is even game related. Uh, I've got the manga of Ghost in the Shell for seventy five whole p. It's a bit dog eared, but the weird thing about this is this must be pretty early because it's not. It's um, it's compiled in the Western way. It's compiled to be read um, left to right rather than right to left, and also it's got. Um, Uh, it says Masa, it says Shiro Masamune. Whereas, whereas if it was Japanese, it would be Masamune, Masamune Shiro, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah, and the same day as that, um, this this was um, quite a nice little find. I, I've been on a little tour, went to as many charity shops as I could, not found anything. In the very last charity shop that I intended to go into, and it was actually the last, the last one I did go into. Went in, looked at the shelf of the games, nothing, just sports titles, you know, hundreds of VHS tapes, then turned around to leave and then looked in the, the children's toy section and this little bastard popped up. Look at that. It's a genuine sealed DualShock light grey PS1 controller for two old pounds. Two pounds. Which, now, now um, Stuff like this, stuff like this. I've always thought to myself, this is something that I would use, but I could easily get, I could easily get um, a controller for a lot cheaper than this, that you know would be usable. Whereas this one's, this is, you know, this one's sort of, um, it's obviously it's, it's sealed, so it's sort of a nice thing to have sealed, but I don't really want to keep things sealed, except if I open this up. I had seen one of these go recently for 26 quid. So, now I had the dilemma whether to open it up or not. 
It looks like somebody's already had a go, but these these they're blister packs, aren't they? They're a bitch to get hold of, <laughs> to get into. If anybody knows um, Curb Your Enthusiasm, there's a really, really funny episode where um, Larry David's um, bitching about these blister packs and how difficult they are to get into. But Actually, that was when I bought... Um, uh, sorry, uh, Children of the Atom. I just, uh, the guy in there, if you, anybody knows Tommy Wells, it's um, Cosmic Cartwheels. Um, it, we were just talking about it. He mentioned the fact it was um, quite a collectible game. And I said, yeah, and we were just talking about collectability. And then he, he was talking about um, sort of the idea of the dilemma of keeping things sealed. And, um, you know, over, you know, you, you buy something sealed, and then that's what he was advocating buying something sealed and then um, uh, buying another copy of a game to play. Because he's obviously a genuine collector, which which makes it even even more reason why you should sort of seek out seek out the shop. Because he's he's not just a bod who owns a, a shop to sell stuff to make money. He's a, a genuine, although relatively old, you know, probably approaching fifty odd. Not that my judgment is very accurate usually on people's ages. I don't gen I don't generally tend to go around, you know, um, <laughs> imagining how old people are, but. He, he looked like sort of mid forties. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, so yeah, what we got all this is up until about two days ago. That's in two. That's sort of two weeks worth of stuff. I mean, one or two good things there, but um, especially this. Especially this. But um, you know, I've not been going all out. But then um, I just sort of went on just two random jaunts. With no no intentions, I, I mean, I was in, I was in Watford, and I happened to be in Watford. And I thought, I'll, I'll, you know, while I'm here, with no intentions, didn't really take out any money with me, really, just just pence, almost not know, a bit more than that. No intentions. I ended up coming away with just a boatload of stuff, and probably could have paid, spent more on it. In all honesty, um, a big big Christian charity shop, which I have mentioned in the past in Watford, um, I they had. All their video games have. They've, I've bought stuff from there in the past, and it's been literally about a year since I've seen anything worth having in there, or probably more, longer than a year. But this time, for some reason, there was quite a lot of stuff. Um, I, I did buy for a pound Birth um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep from the PSP, but I'm trying not to buy too many PS, too many PSP games until I've got a PSP. So um, I was going to keep it, but then. I thought, oh, no, I might as well use it as credit for CEX and buy something else that I really want, which, and something else that it's gone to is, is just coming. But what I did buy in the shop, and I've, not, not necessarily my sort of game, but the more sort of collectible, and it's more intriguing rather than I'm certain I'll like them. Um, first one, uh, Futurama. I like, I like the animation. I, I prefer it over Simpsons by a mile. And the other one is um, Worms 4 Mayhem, which I did actually buy recently on the PS2 for 50p, but I traded it in because I, cause, you know, I wasn't too bothered about it. But I had other things in there, but these are the two that I picked out. I had Crimson Sea, but I've already got that. Um, so those are two pretty good games, um, especially for a pound. Um, now, uh, Cash Converters in Watford. Again, I have bought some decent stuff in there in the past. But I'd absolutely just bugger all for ye not years, yeah, probably years or year at least. Not really seen anything. I've had I've had PS One games there for pence in the past. I've had um, a couple of Final a couple of Final Fantasy Seven for twenty p, and not seen anything since. But this one is maybe not that standard, but not I can not I couldn't really pass most of it up. This is where sort of the dilemma is. It's sort of um, it's where it's you see something that's so cheap, all your judgment goes out the window and your sort of self control, and then you sort of hit or you go on automatic automatic pilot. Whereas you sh this stuff, a lot of this stuff here, I've bought without having sort of um, an intention of what I bought it for. I mean, it's for me in the sense that they're all games I can use, but. Some of them, actually, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll probably, I'll get out some of them already. Uh, I'll explain. So, three PS1 games to 25p each. Okay. These are all PS1 cases, and I've taken them out because they were um, Weakest Link, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, 
and ISS Pro 98. So I'm not bothered by any of those games. So I've, these are all games that are all um, cases that are intact. So I just need to clean up a bit and I'll use them as spares because I always need spares. So they were 25p each, so 75p. Um, this is where it gets a bit like I, I sort of lost, slightly lost self control. Although, again, these were 25p. And they took three Xbox games, and they are Manhunt, uh, Chronicles of Riddick, and uh, Silent Hill for the Room. Now, I've got one of these, I've got Silent Hill for the Room, but again, it, it was 25p, and I, I, I found it difficult to leave it there. I felt, I think my instinct was to rescue it as such. I mean, there is obviously there is you can leave. I could have left it there to for someone else to have, and maybe I should have done. But the 20, the fact it was twenty five p, I almost sort of like went on to automatic pilot. I don't enjoy selling stuff on, so I I, that I bought this is not obviously not with the intention to sell on. I mean, it's almost as if to set an intention to give to someone because it's twenty five p and it won't cost me anything really, will it? Um, I, like I said, I bought it with almost not really have, having any sort of intentions of what to do with it. Any idea what was, what was going to do with it. Whereas this one, I don't have either. But I've always um, known that it's not my sort of game. Sort of violence for violence sake. It's almost as if it was a sort of reverse engineered game where they, they, they had the, sort of the game mechanic with, with this sort of creative violence and tried to write in a narrative to explain it, to, you know, to justify it. But... It's, it's pretty rough, but again, it's 25p. 